Behind every iconic brand, there's often a controversial and enigmatic figure steering the ship. In the world of automobiles, that figure was Franz Joseph Pop, and the brand he helped shape was BMW. Pop's journey from a curious engineer to a co-founder of a globally recognized automotive powerhouse is a story of innovation, ambition, and a few controversial twists along the way. Born on August 14, 1886 in Vienna, Austria, Hungary, Franz Joseph Pop was the product of an era marked by rapid technological advancement. Vienna, a city known for its cultural richness and intellectual vigor, provided a fertile ground for young minds like Pops to flourish. From a young age, Pop exhibited an insatiable curiosity about how things worked. He would often spend hours dismantling and reassembling mechanical devices, much to the chagrin of his parents who sometimes found their household appliances in various states of disarray. His tinkering habit was not merely mischievous, it was a manifestation of his innate engineering talent. As he entered his teenage years, Pop's interest in machinery and mechanics became more pronounced. He immersed himself in books on engineering and technology, devouring every bit of knowledge he could find. His insatiable thirst for learning led him to excel in his studies, particularly in mathematics and physics, which provided the foundation for his future endeavors. Pop's early teenage years were marked by hands-on experience. He frequented local workshops and garages, watching skilled craftsmen and mechanics ply their trade. These visits allowed him to observe the practical application of engineering principles and deepen his understanding of machinery. His formal education in engineering was the next logical step. Pop enrolled in a local engineering school where he delved into the intricacies of mechanical and electrical engineering. These years of formal education solidified his technical knowledge and honed his problem-solving skills. By the time he completed his education, Pop was a young man brimming with ambition and a vision for the future. Little did he know that his journey was about to take a pivotal turn. After completing his formal education in engineering and spending his formative years nurturing his curiosity and passion for machinery, Franz Joseph Pop embarked on his professional career, a journey that would lead him to the heart of the burgeoning automotive industry. His initial destination was Austro Daimler, a renowned Austrian automaker known for its precision engineering and innovation. Pop's entry into Austro Daimler marked the beginning of a remarkable chapter in his life. It was at this prestigious company that he was introduced to the complex world of automotive engineering. Austro Daimler was at the forefront of technological advancements in the early 20th century, and it was an ideal place for a young and enthusiastic engineer like Pop to start his career. Upon joining Austro Daimler, Pop was initially assigned to work on aircraft engines. The aviation industry was rapidly evolving during this period, driven by the demands of World War I. This experience allowed Pop to immerse himself in the intricacies of aviation technology, learning about the design and manufacturing of powerful aircraft engines that were crucial to the war effort. Pop's work on aircraft engines at Austro Daimler not only honed his engineering skills, but also provided him with insights into the exacting standards required for precision engineering and manufacturing. The rigorous demands of aviation engineering instilled in him a commitment to quality and excellence, values that would become synonymous with the future brand he helped create, BMW. As the war came to an end, the landscape of the automotive industry underwent a significant transformation. The demand for aircraft engines waned, and companies like Austro Daimler faced new challenges. It was during this period of change that Pop's career took an intriguing turn. Recognizing the potential of the emerging automobile market, Austro Daimler shifted its focus to the production of automobiles. This shift presented Pop with a fresh opportunity. The year was 1916, and the automotive landscape in Europe was in a state of flux due to the war. Pop's expertise in engineering and machinery had not gone unnoticed, and he soon formed a partnership with two other visionary individuals, Carl Rapp and Camilo Castiglioni. Together, they set out to establish a new venture that would eventually become synonymous with precision engineering and performance. Bayerische Flugzeugwerk AG. Bayerische Flugzeugwerk, initially focused on aircraft manufacturing, was founded in Munich, Germany, during a time when aircraft were rapidly evolving to meet the demands of World War I. Pop's experience working on aircraft engines during his early years proved invaluable as the company embarked on the production of aircraft components and engines. 
This endeavor allowed them to contribute to the war effort by supplying essential aviation equipment. However, it was Pop's innate ability to adapt to changing circumstances and his visionary outlook that set the stage for the company's transformation. Recognizing that the post-war period would bring new challenges and opportunities, Pop, Rapp, and Castiglione turned their attention to the burgeoning field of automobiles. In 1917, Bayer Riesch Flugzeug Work AG underwent a significant transformation and officially changed its name to Bayer Riesch Motorin Work GmbH, which translates to Bavarian Motor Works. The new name signaled a shift in focus from aircrafts to automobiles, and thus BMW was born. Franz Joseph Pop's tenure as the first managing director of BMW began in 1922, heralded a transformative era for the company. Under his leadership, BMW underwent a strategic pivot, shifting its focus from aircraft engines to automobiles, a decision that would shape the company's destiny and leave an indelible mark on the automobile world. The early 1920s marked a pivotal moment for BMW. With World War I behind them, Pop and his team recognized the enormous potential of the rapidly growing automobile industry. The demand for personal transportation was on the rise, as was the company's experience in precision. By 1928, under Pop's guidance and with unwavering dedication, BMW achieved a historic milestone. It produced its very first car, the BMW Dixie. The BMW Dixie was not an entirely original creation. It was, in fact, a licensed version of the British Austin 7, but it bore the BMW emblem, signifying the company's entry into the world of automobiles. The BMW Dixie marked the beginning of BMW's journey as a full-fledged automobile manufacturer. This compact, affordable car captured the hearts of motorists with its efficient design and reliable performance. It was a testament to Pop's determination to deliver automobiles that combined engineering excellence with practicality and affordability. The success of the BMW Dixie was just the beginning of a legacy that would grow exponentially over the years. Under Pop's leadership and with the subsequent models like the BMW 315, the company solidified its reputation for producing automobiles that were not just means of transportation, but also sources of driving pleasure and automotive innovation. Engineering, honed during the war, positioned them well to excel in the automotive arena. BMW has a long and storied history filled with both triumphs and controversies. While the brand is celebrated for its high-performance vehicles, innovative engineering, and iconic designs, it has also faced its fair share of criticism and controversies over the years. One of the most controversial and somber chapters in BMW's history is its association with Nazi Germany during the tumultuous period of World War II. This period, spanning from the 1930s to the 1940s, cast a long and dark shadow over the company, tarnishing its reputation and leaving a legacy of moral and ethical questions that would linger for decades. In the heart of Europe, in the 1930s, there was a company known for its engineering excellence and precision. Bayerisch Motorin Work GmbH, or BMW as it's widely recognized today. Little did the world know that this iconic automaker would become entangled in one of the darkest and most controversial periods in history. The 1930s marked the rise of Nazi Germany under Adolf Hitler, with the ominous clouds of war gathering. The Nazi regime sought to bolster its military might, and BMW found itself at the epicenter of this geopolitical storm. Known for its expertise in engine manufacturing, BMW was enlisted to produce aircraft engines for the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force. It was a decision that would forever link BMW to the war machine of Nazi Germany. As the war raged on, BMW's factories hummed with activity, churning out aircraft engines that powered the Luftwaffe's planes. The company's expertise in designing and producing aircraft engines proved indispensable to the Luftwaffe, Germany's Air Force. BMW's engines powered some of the most iconic aircraft of the era, including the Messerschmitt BF-109 and the Focke Wolf FW-190. These aircraft were instrumental in the early successes of the German military campaign. BMW's engine manufacturing plants operated around the clock, churning out powerful and reliable aircraft engines. The precision and quality for which the company was known translated into formidable military capabilities. 
The roar of BMW engines became synonymous with the terrifying might of the Luftwaffe as it conducted air raids, reconnaissance missions, and aerial battles across Europe. The BMW 801, a radial engine that powered the FW190, was particularly renowned for its robustness and performance. This engine was a testament to BMW's engineering prowess, but also became emblematic of the company's complex role during the war. However, the involvement of BMW in the war effort also cast a long and troubling shadow. The aircraft engines produced by the company played a crucial role in the devastation wrought by the Luftwaffe. They were responsible for the destruction of cities and loss of countless lives during the Blitz and other air campaigns. The company's engineering prowess was evident, but the cost of this endeavor was shrouded in controversy. A dark secret of BMW's wartime production came to light with the revelation that the company had utilized forced labor from concentration camps. Thousands of prisoners, innocent victims of the Nazi regime's brutality, were coerced into working in BMW factories. Their toil under inhumane conditions and their suffering added an indelible stain to the company's history. Then came the end of World War II, a moment of reckoning for Germany and the world. The revelations of war crimes and unethical practices, including the use of forced labor, were met with shock and condemnation. BMW, like many other German companies, had to confront its past actions and grapple with the moral implications. The post-war era was a period of immense challenges for BMW. The association with the Nazi regime and the use of forced labor weighed heavily on the company's conscience. It was a time of reflection, soul-searching, and the painful recognition of the role BMW had played during the war. In the midst of these challenges, BMW embarked on a journey of transformation and redemption. The company committed itself to ethical principles and practices, determined to ensure that the dark days of the past would never be repeated. As the dust settled after the devastation of World War II, Franz Joseph Popp faced a challenging and uncertain period in his career. The war had left BMW in disarray, and the company was at a crossroads, forced to reinvent itself in the wake of significant restrictions placed on its operations. One of the most significant challenges BMW confronted was the prohibition from producing aircraft engines. The Allied authorities, recognizing the potential danger of allowing a company with BMW's expertise to continue in the aviation industry, placed a strict limit on its activities in this sector. Pop recognized that the automotive industry held the promise of a brighter future for BMW. With the expertise and technological know-how honed during the years of producing aircraft engines, BMW was uniquely positioned to excel in the production of high-performance vehicles. Under Pop's guidance, BMW embarked on a strategic shift, pivoting its focus away from aviation and toward motorcycles and automobiles. This first step in the transformation was the resumption of motorcycle production. BMW had been producing motorcycles since the 1920s, and these two-wheeled machines had garnered a reputation for their quality and performance. Pop saw motorcycles as a viable path forward for the company, and they would serve as a foundation upon which BMW would rebuild. The iconic BMW R24, introduced in 1948, marked the company's return to motorcycle manufacturing. It was a symbol of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. The R24, like its predecessors, was celebrated for its engineering and excellence and innovative design, embodying the spirit of BMW's renewed commitment to the automotive world. However, Pop's ambitions extended beyond motorcycles. In the early post-war years, Pop initiated research and development efforts aimed at creating a new generation of automobiles. These efforts culminated in the introduction of the BMW 501, a luxury sedan, in 1951. This marked a significant milestone in BMW's post-war resurgence as a car manufacturer. In his last years, Pop continued to be a guiding presence at BMW, even as he handed over the day-to-day -day responsibilities of running the company. His experience, wisdom, and commitment to the brand remained invaluable, and he served on the supervisory board of BMW until 1959. Franz Joseph Pop's contributions to the automotive industry extended beyond BMW. His leadership and vision had helped shape an iconic brand, 
but he also played a role in advancing the field of engineering and manufacturing in Germany and around the world. In July 1954, Franz Josef Popp passed away in Bad Reichenhall, Germany, leaving behind a lasting legacy that transcended the automotive world.